Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you this sun ray ring and specifically show you how to arrange these spiky things and to fit in on the ring shape nicely. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now starting from the scratch, we want to start in a circle at the front view and let's set it up for diameter for 16 for this demonstration and you always want to set it up for the true size. And then I'm going to draw a roughly a circle snapping into the zero on my top view and this one is actually wanted to show like how big that middle circle is going to be so let's say your design is roughly about this size then we're going to stay like this. This ring right here is for us to see how big this is going to be. I'm going to temporarily to hide it and I'm going to draw a straight line with the line from the midpoint. Snapping into the zero, I want to draw something like larger than my ring, so something like this. Okay, and with this one, I'm going to select all of them and using the trim command to trim the one in the middle. And this is a really hard edges there, so after I trim it, I actually want to do a fitted curve. I'm going to try one here and see how it goes and see if that is smooth enough for me. And then if you like it, just go ahead to join it. So that is the curve we have. We are going to turn it back to uh, the one we just hide. So if you look at a perspective view, I have two curves right here. Now I wanted this curve going into the uh, circle, something like this one. So the command I'm going to use is curve from two view. Remember, it's important to have your uh, two curve that is completely flat to the construction plane to start with otherwise it is not working so we want to make sure it's flat then we coming over here we curve from two view we click on this one and click on the second curve and very quickly you're going to see this one i'm going to turn into the red colors easier for you to see so now we have this one i'm going to temporarily to hide this uh, we can use the curve that it originally from and we trim the bottom one because we actually don't need the bottom. So now we have this one over here. Let's come over here and I would like to make a, a colony corner from the rectangle and I want to snap in right here and this is decided how big your shank, shank is going to be. I would like it to be 1.2 millimeter and it's really up to you on your design and uh, the other length is 1.2 as well. It might be too thin but you know it is really trendy now to have some really really thin shank there. All right so then I also wanted to make sure that this one is mirrored to the other side so then when you sweep the form will look more symmetrical all right so let's give it a try we have this two uh corner corner rectangle here and we have this red one for our rail so we're gonna use the sweep one rail gonna click on this one and this one this one make sure that they align uh and the all the arrows face uh, facing outside and we want to click something like that Notice that this is a little bit jamming in there and it is not going to work. So I actually wanted to record a history and click OK. Uh, this things it will still show is a valid surface, but it will have hard time to print it out. Right. So um, since we recorded history, I simply just want to move this down like halfway. So that kind of solve the issue kind of um, giving a little bit relax on that corner there. All right, so now we have this is done. We're gonna coming over to the top view and I wanna do this sun ray things. Uh, we wanna draw the sun ray flat and uh, we'll transfer to this angle there. Now, another thing that you may notice, uh, this is the angle right here and that's because how it flow. If you want this part to be completely flat, this is what you're going to do. Let's delete this one. And then I actually want to make a copy from this one and moving somewhere there, tilt it to facing this direction. And I want to use the move command to snap and snapping into the quadrant over there. All right, so that gives us an 
uh, uh, more control. You can have uh, many cross section if you want it for your sweep. So let's give it a try. We want to sweep one rail and we're going to go cross section one, two, three. And make sure they all align correctly. So just make sure it's correct. I want to align everybody inside and facing the same direction and double check if that is right. You can always record a history just in case you want to move, right? So after that, if you feel like this is not in the right place, I want them to be coming out more and this will keep changing. Right, so I we want to keep the option over there. Now coming over here, I'm going to do the sun ray. So I'm gonna temporarily to hide this one so I can see the curve on the bottom. So let's go ahead to hide this one as well. All right, so for the sun ray, we're gonna draw it flat here, and that's um, starting with the circle. Any size of circle will be fine. It not necessarily has to be this size, um, but I'm just going to snapping over there. Then I'm gonna draw my first one to be the longest one right here, approximately about this long. All right. With this one, I actually want the sun ray go with twelve of them. So let's go ahead to use polar ray. The center is zero, and I need twelve of them. So then I will get something like this. Okay, so that gives us a, a guideline for how it uh, it's going to be. And then uh, we actually just need to work on one section and we can pull the array for the rest. So I'm gonna use the curve that I have and to be divided or split, uh, split by this one and this one. All right, so now this is the only part we need to work on. The rest of them, we can just delete it. For this one, I do want to have four section in there. So I'm going to use the divide command and then you can divide it as many as you want. Um, I want it into five segments. Sorry, I want it to have five instead of four. And then so for the second one, I'm going to simply just draw a straight line and kind of eyeball it probably will be right here. And the third one is even shorter to have something like this. And then so the same thing coming over something like this. And something like this. All right. So if that worked for you, we are going to, we actually don't need to work on this side either. We just need to have this one go over to the rest of the side. So this three piece, four piece, it's going to be polar array snapping into the zero and I still want a 12 of them and you can do quarter of them it's just easier for me not calculating all the number and I can just simply take a second to delete in those curve all right so this is what we have here now we need to have this design and transfer back to what we have on the ring uh, notice that the ring does have a curve. Um, you cannot just pipe it and moving these things up, something like this, because it won't align with this curve there. So we need to have a really nice looking curve. Let me bring it back there. So let me hide in this one one more time and we will need to do a curve from two view one by one. Another way uh, to save your time, you can use a project. So let me show you how that work. We could extrude this surface and maybe just move it in back a little bit. And on my top view, I'm going to pick up all this curve that I have there and I wanted to and I wanted to project it to this surface there. So you can see it going both top and the bottom and we actually don't need the one on the bottom. So I'm just going to delete them. Now you see the curve not only is um, it's keep the original distance and it also uh, follow this ring shank there. So we can delete this one right here. Let's bring in what we have on the ring. And we simply just need to pipe it individually. Uh, the reason I want to pipe it individually is, for example, if I want to pipe it all of them at once, uh, this is what's going to happen. You do not have a choice to make it taper. So let's say I want all of them to be 0.3 millimeter and they will look like this. Uh, 
the same thickness on the radius and I do want it to make it more interesting so I actually need to do one by one so for the longer one like this one in the middle I like to do the piping on the bottom is 0.4 millimeter on the top is 0.2 millimeter and let's take a look and see if that works for you and you notice that it's a little bit lower but that's fine we can move it up all together once it is done so for the rest of them let's go ahead to do 0.4 and 0.2 and see if that small one work well as well and then let's keep doing all of them. I'm going to fast forward here to speed up the process for you. Okay, so once you have done all of them, uh, that's select all the curve and just temporary to hide them. And so we're only dealing with the surface. Notice that it is a little bit lower than what we want is actually inside of the ring shank so let's pick up all of them and simply just move it up something like this let me change to the ghost view and i also like it to be symmetrical so we are going to pick up all of this and then simply just mirror to the other side like this all right so then we have one that's done now if you like the result you can uh, Bowling union all of them. Let me bowling union those piece first. Because I might want to I might want to move up and down. I don't I don't know. It's not sure yet. So alright. So if it look okay to you, I'm gonna turn it back to get my curve to do the bottom part. This one I can just go ahead to delete it. For the bottom part, we can still using the sweep. So got, let's go ahead to use a sweep one rail. This is a rail and the cross sections go from here to here. I like the seam to align with the one on the top. So I want to move the seam to inside of a ring. Something like this and hit enter and we'll get something like this. Let's go ahead to join it. It will break the history, but that's okay. All right, so now we have that piece. Um, you can you can wear it by itself like that, or you can simply you know making two of them. Uh, whether you want a bowling or not, or giving the option, you can wear one for the yellow one or one for the silver one. I hope you enjoyed the video. I got a lot more to show you in my course at pjchendesign.com. Not only I teach CAD, I also answer students' questions weekly. So there are no more endless searching online and your question will get answered weekly. Hope to see you in my course. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.